Hi guys, my name is Hunter Young. I'm a firefighter paramedic with Monterey County Regional Fire. Today, we're at Mid Valley Station or our Station 5. Today, I'll be showing you all about our ambulance and what we do when you call 911. We're at the front of the ambulance now. I'm going to show you a couple things about the front here. Uh, first of all, we have our radios right here. Our radios let us communicate with our dispatch center and with other responding units, including fire engines and other ambulances. So if there's any information we need, we can talk to people. Our iPad here gives us a lot of the similar information. It has the address of where we're going and updates about the call. So we'll use our iPad to get that information in real time. Uh, but when we're responding in an ambulance, you need lights and sirens, which I'm sure you've seen on the road before. So first of all is our lights. Right up here, I have all these buttons. I press these buttons and it turns all the lights on on the outside. It's all these buttons here have different lights. But now you also need sirens right here. Those turn the sirens on. So when we're responding, we get updates on the radio and we use our lights and sirens to drive safely on the road. Now that we've responded safely to the call, we need to get inside with all of our equipment. First and foremost, we need our gurney or our bed. On top of that, we'll put all of our bags with different equipment. So I'm gonna open this up now, pull out the gurney and show you how that works. So this comes out, the legs go down, bring it out. Now as you see, on top of this gurney or this bed, we have different bags and different equipment. I'm going to talk about those next. Every one of these bags serves a different purpose. This one will help us if someone's having a hard time breathing or if they're injured, their equipment is in here to help us with that. This one has different medications, which I'll show you right now. Inside here, there's multiple pockets with different medications for different sicknesses. Down here, we have a way to start an IV, which is a way to give fluid and a way to give medications to sick people. This gives us opportunity to help anybody in any situation. So our monitor that we bring in here will help us look at people's hearts and their heart rhythms. Additionally, it can take blood pressures and check how much oxygen's in your body. So this here has a bunch of different pockets on the outside, all these different cables that we attach to people's chests. This goes around the arm to check a blood pressure, and this screen right here displays a rhythm. When it's attached to a patient, you'll see the squiggly lines. So here we are in the back of the ambulance. All these bags I showed you earlier, we have this equipment in the cabinets for easy access. Everything from our medications to our bandages and band-aids. Over here, we have different ways to give oxygen to people in case they're having a hard time breathing. And um, pretty much everything you need when someone is sick or someone is injured, we have in these cabinets ready to go. Some more equipment we have, we keep right here in these pockets. We have ways to give people medications. We have ways to listen to people's lung sounds with a stethoscope like this. And on here, we have a way to check your temperature and way to check all sorts of different things when you're sick or injured. So just another location for our equipment. There's a lot of equipment in the back of an ambulance. At the beginning of the video, I told you I was a firefighter paramedic. As a paramedic, yes, you'll see me working on the back of the ambulance, but also firefighter. So I need to be prepared for any sort of fire. When I drive around in my ambulance, I have a compartment with all my fire gear in it. I've got the helmet, the boots, and the jacket, just like you would see with, on a fire engine. Thank you so much for coming on the tour today with me. I hope you learned a little bit about ambulances and what we do behind the scenes. Hope you have a good day.